This is Showtime Sean Porter. Exactly. This is Earl Spin Jr. Hey everyone, this is Jesse Vargas. And you're watching True School Sports. You're watching True School Sports. All right. And you're watching True School Sports. Stay tuned. Like, do you think uh, he's gonna stay at 154? And do, 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 do you still think he has a future at 154? Or maybe, maybe he moves up? Or like, what, what do you think is gonna happen with his career? Well, you know, I had mixed conversations about that. You know, he, um, I was told that he's, it's hard for him to make that weight at 154. But you notice, you notice the difference in his body. When he fought uh, J-Rock, there's a big difference in his body, the structure of his body. This time his body looked kind of soft, looked kind of weak. It wasn't looking as strong as it did in the previous fight. And maybe that had something to do with trying to make weight. I think that maybe it had something to do with trying to maintain that weight. And I think uh, he, he, he could have gotten uh, uh, dehydrated. Okay, he could have gotten dehydrated. And, you know, you, you when you dehydrate yourself like this, a lot of things, People don't understand, you know, you can go out and you drink your Gatorade and you can take your, 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 your different minerals to put back into your body to hydrate your body. And you may hydrate your body, but you, it takes 48 hours to hydrate your brain. So you're not going to go out there in 24 hours with the same, with the same uh, uh, fluid around your brain that you have normally because you can't get it back. It takes 48 hours to hydrate your brain. So a lot of that have a lot to do with you. So what the brain has to do with it? Well, if your brain is weak, you get hit in the body, you won't feel it. So it's a lot of it's a it's a lot of technique. It's a lot of technique. There's a lot of things in boxing that people overlook. They they overlook, but they don't know. You know, you know, you 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 you, you dehydrate your fighter. And you think about getting a gallon of water, he's gonna be hydrated. Okay, he might hydrate your body, but you, your brain is there. You can't do anything about it. It takes 48 hours. So all these things you got to put in perspective and and get that weight down soon. Get it down close to five six pounds. Four or five days out, you don't have no problem. So then you got more than 24 hours to hydrate your brain, as well as your body. So you, these things you got to you got to take into consideration. Those are things that's been the difference between winning and losing. Yeah. The big difference between winning and losing. You know, it, it's um, you know, you know, in boxing sometimes you got to take a you got to you got to take some of the things you see in other sports, uh, and, 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 and you and you and you got to you got to use it. You look at you look at football players and. And you look at basketball players and um, these type of guys, you know, they have, they have to hydrate themselves and they do it in a certain way. So you, it's not just boxers, but those guys are not getting hit upside the head. So the boxers are getting taken shots to the head, so you got to hydrate. So when I look at his body, his body didn't look right. His body, looked, his body just didn't look to be as strong as it, it normally would. And, that, and, and even the punching and speed on his punches didn't seem to be the same. Yeah. Know, so I had to put it down to trying to make that weight. Getting back to what you said, he probably will move up to 160. It's probably a good idea. Yeah, he looked, he looked, good idea. He's a big, big kid and he's a strong puncher, so he probably will. And he may stay at 54. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. But if it's that hard to make, then you, you better try to you know make some adjustments there and move on and move them on up. You know? Okay. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT. We're at the Davy Powell. Watch your school sports. Does he make sense?